All right, Sage Wanderer here, and this is my temporary home. This is what you call a plow point shelter. And uh, I can put this up pretty quick. It's a pretty good use of a tarp. I think this is a 10 by 12 tarp. So there's lots of room under here for gear, stuff like that. So I'm starting with the plow point. Kind of hard to see in this light. It's kind of kite shaped, you know? But there's a lot of room under there. So I'm building this camp, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna occupy my land. I'm gonna live out here free of rent, and um, I'm gonna build some kind of little cabin back in this brush right here. And I'm gonna use this wood around here until, you know, I I guess can get some gigs and make enough money to to uh, buy some materials and start building for real, but. I'm gonna build a house just right here in this brush. I'm gonna camp out here and do it. And uh, so, you know, I got my got my soup, gonna get my solo stove out. I have another tent there that I might pitch as well to keep the bugs off me, like a mosquito, uh, you know, screen. But I don't know, I'm gonna just build this bushcraft camp and kinda occupy it while I work on this land and improve it. And hey, it's eight and a half acres. If I gotta sell off, another acre or two to get enough money to finish developing it and get some kind of house built then I can do that you know uh, as long as I do the work myself but hey one thing I love about YouTube and the internet of today I've been doing crazy crud like this my whole life you know just picking up and moving across country you know like camping out under the stars to develop a piece of land and make a little money you know it's there was no money in the music business really without selling your soul to the devil. So, I just did this kind of stuff. A little real estate development, a little investment here and there, and this is my last nest egg. And I gotta turn this into something, like a place to live, because I can't afford to be paying no $2,000 a month rent like I pay in, in Oregon. And, uh, you know, I guess maybe I'm tired of van life. I'm probably gonna buy a van and bring it out here. Or I may go back and get the old girl and somehow get her across the country. I don't know. My van down by the river is old. She's like almost as old as me. She's 40-something. 77, 1977 van. But anyway, I saw one today that's for sale. I'd kind of like to get my hands on, but I don't know. One thing at a time. I'm going to figure it all out. Gotta have, I got to do something for my retirement. This is my last big pitch. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Coming at you from my land down in Texas.